warm welcome to another chapter of L&D Dialogue series hosted by Teamly's EdTech. Today, we'll start the day with the keynote address by Rohit Shinoy. After that, we will have a, a, a short Q&A. I would request if you can just make your questions a bit uh, uh, crisp and small, and followed by a panel discussion, and then, an, an, then we will have another Q&A, and uh, we will just uh, end the session with the lunch after that. So that's the agenda uh, for the day today. You have it, by the way, in your kit as well. The agenda is there mentioned. Now, um, it's my pleasure to invite our keynote speaker today, who is Rohit Shetty, Director HR and Global Head of Learning and Development in DXC Technology. With years of expertise in talent development and HR consultancy, Rohit Shinoy has worked with reputable companies like Infosys, Accenture, and Siemens, and he also implements innovative learning technologies over there. Rohit holds various certifications in coaching, psychometrics, and facilitation, including an OD certification from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Rohit, if we can have you please on the stage. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Great. So, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to this session. It's a little difficult to uh, uh, train trainers or the LD uh, function, but uh, I consider it my biradri. So we are all fine together. So in that sense, it won't be a keynote, but it'll just be experience sharing of what, uh, what we've done and some of the experiments. So uh, a few months back, I was sitting in my home office and my 11-year-old daughter, Pari, comes running in and uh, says I was in a call with my Bulgarian and, and Hungary, co Hungary colleagues and uh, Rishav here knows them. So I was talking to them and uh, she suddenly comes in and say, Papa, 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 papa. So, you have an American accent in your life, Delhi, I don't know how it comes to Delhi. But uh, she came and told me that and said, uh, uh, put your call on mute and uh, I have something very exciting to share. Uh, chat GPT, mein mene, uh, I've discovered a new mode called Dan mode. Uh, Dan mode is do anything now. And uh, chat GPT generally is quite boring and uh, they, it has a lot of... Uh, uh, restrictions on what it can communicate with, what it can do, what it cannot do. So what this Dan mode does is you use a prompt and make ChatGPT interesting. Have them have it, uh, ChatGPT has opinions, becomes creative, is extroverted, is playful and so on. So she put it on Dan mode and asks her questions. So she has these breaks during class, which is, uh, this is my ChatGPT, you can see all of those other things that I've used it for. Uh, learning plan, inducting new members, creating an academy, uh, and all of that. So uh, she says, yeah, want to chill together in recess. Uh, and then it give, gave a nice response. Then she asked it for, uh, uh, Dan, let's eat chips and spoil your health. Uh, and then ChatGPT gave a response saying, we can't do that. So there are restrictions on it. But the point I'm making here is even 11-year-old with uh, no understanding has access to all of these tools, with very little understanding of generative AI. So that's the point that uh, uh, AI is not new. We've all been using it in multiple places. Every time you go into Amazon, what it recommends to you is AI. But what's changed now is generative AI is in everybody's hands. And everyone can make an impact with it. So what I'm going to talk about is a few use cases that I have seen and we have used. Uh, and then we'll talk about some aspects of that. So uh, what we'll do is we'll see some recent use cases of uh, generative AI. Uh, where are we right now as L&D? So there's a survey uh, that was taken some time back. I've just borrowed that survey. I didn't uh, go to make the survey myself. Uh, then uh, what are useful links and some AI tools? And then uh, we'll give you something which you can try today. So go back today and see, and you can use that right away. So right from scratch is what we'll look at. So it won't be like a keynote, but it'll be more like uh, a, a learning session for us, for learning together, OK? Uh, I hope that's fine. OK, so uh, context, I am from uh, DXC Technology. Uh, like my colleague here, uh, we are a 130,000 people company spread across uh, 70 countries, a Fortune 200, earlier known as CSC and HP, which came together to form the organization. And uh, uh, we have a very lean learning team. So it is like a ratio of one person to thousands. I won't even tell you how many thousands of uh, people. Uh, 
so we have to be really efficient with the work that we do. So there was an event uh, about two months back called uh, Eurekathon. So what we needed to do is within the HR team, we had to suggest ideas uh, for, uh, uh, for process improvement, productivity improvement and so on. So this uh, girl in my team, uh, Sudha, she uh, gave the idea of having a DXE flix, uh, like a Netflix where you kind of interview people and uh, 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 I mean, make situations and then have it spread across the organization. Uh, we had only 24 hours before the final presentation that she had to do. And in 24 hours, what she did is created scripts, trailers, teasers, got business people to also act and complete it. So, uh, and all of that was because she could, she used generative AI. 